We continue our conversation now on the Delaware Way with Ken Simpler, who is the Delaware State Treasurer. When we had the former treasurer sitting here, he he complained about the board, the cash management policy board that oversees his activities, saying that since the governor gets to pick the members for that board, basically, the governor gets to control the office. Do you have that same feeling? Uh, no, I really don't. I mean, it's an overstatement to say control the office. Um, and yes, the governor does get to appoint the five of the, of the nine members on the board, but, um, and, and frankly, two of the members work in the government's administration. So there's no doubt that the governor can stack the board with people that, are, that he knows, but by Delaware law, you have to put so many Republicans on a board. You have to put, well, I think in this case, one from each county. Um, in theory, everyone should, and in practice right now, they do have financial backgrounds. So um, it's a very professional board, and I don't have any problem. We had, a, we had a board meeting this morning, as a matter of fact. So um, it's a very collegial relationship. Um, it's kind of unique, though, to Delaware. I know uh, some other states have something similar, but very few. Do you agree with it? Um, yeah, because part, sometimes you have things because of history. And in Delaware, we have a history. We had all our money with Farmers Bank about 40 years ago, and Farmers Bank blew up. And Delaware, but for some uh, help from the federal government, would have been in a really tight spot in that situation. So there was a great move 40 years ago to reform a lot of the way we do finance in Delaware. And one thing was to say, no longer we're going to have one person in charge of where all the state's money is. Um, that was probably a prudent decision. And there are other places that have some architecture like ours, but. Um, it's been a very functional relationship for most of its 40-year history, and um, it has certainly been, it, it's, it's a good thing for a treasurer like myself, even someone with a financial background, to come in and have people on this board that have institutional learning that goes back a couple decades and that can add value to the way I think about the current problems that we face in the state treasurer's office. You have risen quickly to the top of the Republican food chain in Delaware. Uh, whatever anybody's talking about statewide office, any office talking about running for senator, talking about running for governor. Yours is the first name mentioned now because you pulled off something that no one has been able to do in the last couple of decades, and that's a Republican winning statewide office, and not only winning, winning convincingly. What did you do? Um, you know, uh, it's not rocket science, right? I mean, there was no secret formula. I mean, we went out, I went out and I just met with as many Delawareans as I could, and I kept the message fairly simple and, and honest, which was, I think this is a finance job. I think there's a shortage of people with finance skills in state government. And I think, you know, I had the background where I can add value in this position. And believe it or not, the people bought it, right? I mean, it was, you know, it was a sincere message and one that I continue to say today is what motivates me every day, which is to wake up and try to figure out how we make our finance systems better for the people of Delaware so their future is more certain, we're more transparent, and we're, we're more accountable for the money of theirs that we spend. Are you, are you saying that other Republicans have not been able to do that? I, I, I can't speak for other Republicans because uh, this well, was my first. You remember the party? You've first, seen. You've seen first other. Rodeo. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I think I think other Republicans would maybe take some umbrage too with the fact that you know I'm not the sole leader of the party here. I am the first guy to win a statewide election in some time, and I'm not going to be immodest about that. But. Um, a lot is timing, right? The, you know, um, it was an office where you mentioned my predecessor. A lot of people viewed him as having not had the right skills to, to execute in the job, and that led to some problems. Um, people looked at my pedigree, my business background, my financial background, my money management background, and they thought it was a pretty tight match for what they wanted to see in a state treasurer. Well, I appreciate your time. Pleasure. Thank you so much for coming in. I know a lot of Democrats and Republicans are pulling for you, especially in your goal that was just stated about making Delaware more fiscally responsible and fiscally healthy. Ken Simpler is the Delaware State Treasurer. When we come back, we are going to talk a march for marijuana. It's global, but there is also a march in Delaware we want to talk to you about.